Hi! You already know how easy ChatGPT makes it to ask questions and get answers in plain language. Well, imagine being able to do the exact same thing, but with your folk workspace. Now this is possible. This means that you can pull up people, companies, deals, notes, anything you got in folk without having to click around and search for ages. Just ask and the answers will be there. Picture this. Ask GPT, what do we know about the company Acme? Or, I'm meeting with Antoine from Coca-Cola tomorrow. Remind me what happened in the last 90 days. You get instant answers neatly pulled from your data. Now, let's get you set up. First step, head over to ChatGPT. On the sidebar, click on GPTs and then on Create on the upper right corner. Quick note here is that you will need a paid ChatGPT account for this part. On the creation page, make sure that you're on configure mode. Here, fill in all the basics and give your GPT an identity. First up, a name, something clear so you know exactly what workspace it's tied to. Description is total optional. You can add a little tagline or just leave it blank. Instruction, the prompt, is the brain of your GPT. But don't worry, we already prepared a starter prompt for you. You can use it right away or tweak it a bit later. And you will find the exact, exact prompt in this help article. Just remember not to delete any of the technical stuff here. This is what makes the ChatGPT talk to your folk workspace properly. You can also add a conversation starter. Handy, but also totally optional. Knowledge, if you want, upload extra files, you can, but you can also skip this as first. Capabilities, tick all the boxes, you will have it fully powered. Next part will be about how ChatGPT actually hooks into your folk data. Click on create new action. For authentication, pick API key and set it to bearer. In your folk workspace, generate a new API key, then paste it here. For the schema, click import from URL and paste the link that we provided in the help article. Hit import and if everything went well, you will see a list of available actions appear. Last step, hit create on the top right. For visibility, choose only me so your GPT stays private. Super important, don't share your GPT. Even though no one can change your data, they can read it, so better save my sorry. Your custom GPT is now ready to go. Just head to your GPT list in ChatGPT, click on the one you created, and start chatting with folk like it's your teammate. So let's try. I'm meeting with Laura from Platina next week. What info do we have about her? And that's it. Information that is neatly pulled from your folk data. Now, go ahead and give it a try and see how much time you save.